me the weed eater man continuing this craftsman chainsaw so what i want to do is i want to clean down that cylinder a little better so i took and sprayed a little bit of liquid wrench liquid wrench not advertising for down in there and then i use a greenie and i stick it down in there i got my brass tool this is what i use for this and i'll just scrub it in there and this is just me i like it clean so i figured i got it apart i already have it this greenie works Miracles with a little bit of liquid wrench. I've already chem soaked it so it's loose. We'll pull it out and see where we're at. And there we go. And it's got all the excess carbon out of there. That's just down where the spark plug is. Do you have to be that anal? Nah, it's your choice. Just who I am. And then when I give it customers back, it's clean. And I'll just work it out. And there we go. Add a little light on it, and it's does good. If I can get my finger on it, some of these smaller cylinders I can. I'll use my finger, but the green works real well. It's smiley, abrasive, won't hurt the cylinder liner. Pick them up at any store. Anyways, that's just my preference. Each of their own on things. And there we go, nice and clean. I'm done cleaning this cylinder. Check my squish pan, make sure all the mess is out of there. I don't want no junk in that either. You can run the greeny in that too. And just circle it around. And there we go, nice and clean, all right? I like the cylinder clean when I put it back together. No debris, no carbon, no nothing. Then I know what I'm working with when I go to test it and if it fails. All right, I'm at my two-minute rule. Henry the Weeder Man out cleaning the cylinder on the Craftsman Chainsaw. 1980-1983 version.